Modding is hard, and that's why I focus my channel on it, to help people make awesome things as painlessly as possible. Hey everyone, this is I'm a Dr. Nada. Today, per the request of a patron of mine, we're going to do a focused video showing you how to give your class mods goodies at each level. Specifically, we're going to learn how to give the classes that you make with my tool Polymath, like this video's Kethrick Beard class, whatever additional passives, spell selections, or boosts that you want at whatever level, including after level 12 for folks using the level 20 mod. Be aware that I haven't tested polymath mods with that mod. So if you like modding tutorials or just like beards, be sure to like and subscribe. Now let's begin. To get started, download my tool Polymath from Nexus Mods, install it as directed by my prior videos in the video description, then make a class mod, also as directed by my prior videos. So we have a clear example for this video, and to honor everyone who voted on my most recent YouTube poll, we're going to call our class Kethrick's Beard, with the subclass name of Van Dyke. Look it up, and be sure to send me your fan art. There is one update to Polymath relevant to this video. With Polymath 2.1.1, you can now give your class fast leveling to expedite testing or to just make it overpowered. The checkbox is in the main window. Now that your mod is ready, let's give it goodies at every level. Open the progressions every level.lsx file in your mods progressions folder, also opening the regular progressions.lsx file in that directory. Before having fun customizing things, we have to ensure that the game matches what you will code to your class and subclass. So first, copy the node for the main class and subclass from your real progressions file, replacing the level 1 entries in the new file. If your mod is only a new subclass for an existing class, delete all the level 2 and beyond nodes for the main class. So copy and paste the name of your class into the name field for every class node, or Kethrick's Beard, doing the same for subclass, or Van Dyke, as shown. Then paste the class table UUID into each class node as well, repeating the process for subclass. The table UUID will be different for class and subclass. Lastly, use the Baldur's Gate 3 Modders Multi-Tool to create a new UUID for every UUID field in the file. Now we can start adding what you want. I will first describe the process, then we'll go over an example. To most easily add goodies, open up the data folder in Polymath and open class progression table.xl. First, let's add boost. Find something you want, like Action Resource Rage, and paste it into the level node that you want. You can add more than one, separated by a semicolon. You can then repeat the process for selectors, which typically correspond to selecting skills when you level up. Then add whatever passives that you want. So if I wanted to give my Van Dyke subclass a few goodies at level 5, I would go to the subclass node with a level value of 5. Then we can copy and paste boost for beard relevant proficiencies like action resource bardic inspiration. Then we can give them the option of selecting bard spells by copying the selectors from bard level 4 from the table because a good beard can truly inspire. Lastly, we can add a few passives like danger sense and destroy undead because with great beards come great power. If you don't want to add anything in these fields at certain levels, I would suggest removing the placeholders that I put between the quotes. They probably won't cause problems, but it is possible. After customizing your class, the only thing left is to remove the old progressions file and rename the updated progressions file to progressions.lsx. Then delete the pack file, repackage the mod using the modders multi tool, and test it out. Be sure to let me know what you make. After this video, I will return to giving you all the means of putting icons into your mod. Ideally, I'll show you how to bring in custom action resource icons for a custom class. If problems arise, we'll do custom spell icons instead. Given the demand, we'll do custom items like weapons and armor after that. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and Starship out.